Hey guys, welcome back. Playing some Pauper Red Green Walls. This hand seems fine. We'll keep it. See what our opponent's got for us. Seat of the Cyanon. Alright. Flare Husk. Looks like we're playing against Affinity or that Blue Steel deck. Alright, well, let's open up with the Taflan. Pass the turn. Hopefully our opponent's start isn't too aggressive. Probably going to turn to Battlements. Another seat of the Cyanod. Prismatic, or uh, Prophetic Prism. Okay, so it could still be either way. Still don't really know. Gets in with the germ. <clears throat> Alright, I think I might play... Let's see, if I play Battlement this turn... Next turn, I'll have... I can play a 2-drop and then another 2-drop. That seems fine. Play the Battlement. Pass the turn. Opponent goes to combat. I'll probably block if he attacks. Dark still Citadel. This is a thought cast. Springleaf drum. All right. Green. Oh, okay. So it is affinity. It's not the blue steel. He's playing a forger here, I think. I wonder why he would tap the germ instead of the other seat. Oh, because he's going to thought cast. Yeah. That's right. Alright, back over to us. Draw forest. So I think I'm going to play x Guardian, and Captive. Probably probably should play Wall of Tangle Cord to block the 4-4, four four, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Play the x -Bane. Play Tangle Cord. That'll block the 4-4. Four, four. Alright, we're looking for Vent Sentinel now. Great Furnace for the opponent. Four cards in hand. Galvanic Blast Axe Van Guardian. Oh, okay. I'm not too tore up about that. That, I'm a little concerned about. Goes to combat. Is he going to attack? I probably would have attacked with the forger and then bolted the cord to get it off the field because that way I'd be able to attack through. So I've got one, two, three, four mana, five, six. 
I think I can play double captive and then tangle cord. Yeah. Maybe we can empty our hand here. We're really looking for Vent Sentinel. If this is that counter spell, I, I am going to pay the cost for it. All right, looks like he's not countering this. Um, he may counter this one, though. Let's see. I probably should have went with the Tangle Court, actually. Should have went with that, because then I'll be able to block both of his uh, big guys. I think that counter spell that artifact people use, I think it's three mana, is it? Let's see, so if I tap this, I have four. I guess I can play Wall of Vines and still have ca uh, mana up for that counter. It's unfortunate that I, sh yeah, I should have played the Wall of Tangle Cord there. That was my mistake. We'll play Wall of Vines because we still have the three mana up, and then we'll pass the turn. We'll, t we'll take four from the Artificer this turn, or my opponent's next turn. But he definitely has a counter spell up because he was tapping the germ for blue. But then when he noticed I had enough mana to pay for it, he untapped. So we need to keep that in mind. Plays the Dark Cell Citadel. This really confuses me. He tapped so much stuff to play the... Oh, because he's going un unblockable. Okay, I got it. I got it. Alright, well he hits me for five here. We really need the Vent Sentinel. We're going to be in trouble if we don't get that. Can't block. That's unfortunate. All right, come on, Vent Sentinel. Nope. That sucks. Do I want to flip my wolves? Seven mana to flip. Four. Okay, I, I got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So I can flip and play Tangle Cord. That's not bad. Let's do that. Five, six, seven... Yeah, that'll work. Transform. They sent now now it gives us a beater now, so Ooh, and then I can still play my wall tangle cord here, but we'll go ahead and attack first. Alright. And then play wall of tangle cord here. Alright. Plays the Dark Steel Citadel. I'm pretty confident the two cards in his hand are is that counter spell that artifact uh, that Affinity's been using recently. Just the way he's been tapping, he hasn't been playing any spells, and he's been using his mana to make this unblockable. So I'm pr I'm almost certain those are the counter spells in his hand. And I'm not a fan of those cards in Affinity. Exhibit A, and those are two dead cards in his hand at this point. He gets in for five. I can't block. Yeah. 
And I am going to flip my wolf, my other wolf here. I really need a vent sentinel. Well, let's flip this guy. And we'll attack in here. Lead the Stampede will also be a good draw. Or uh, our Caravix Torch. He blocks. Yep. This Serpent is single handedly winning this for him. Not even the Serpent, the unblockableness of the Serpent is what's really doing it. Play of Vines here. Pass the turn. So we got two turns to find Vent Sentinel. Heals to combat. Attacks in without making it unblockable. Maybe he just forgot to do it and is going to do it before blocks or something. Yeah, he just forgot. Okay. <clears throat> Can't block. So this next turn is my last turn. Oh, he's got Galvanic Blast. Yep, that'll do it. Let's see what we would have drawn. Man, where's our payoff cards? Wow. Alright, go to sideboarding. Playing against Affinity. Definitely want our um, Builder's Bane here. Um, what else do we want? Flame Slash is good. I think that's probably it. So we gotta get rid of five cards. Let's get rid of one Torch. Mm. Maybe Lobber Crew. Maybe we could get rid of Lobber Crew. It's kind of slow, isn't it? We do slow the game down, though. Yeah, I think Lobber Crew is probably going out here. Flame Slash is good against his Enforcers, his Forgers. It's good against Atok, too. We'll go with this. Uh, the reason Flame Slash is good against Atog is because it forces him to sacrifice permanents. This hand is fine, we'll keep it. Alright, let's go with turn one vines. Turn two, we'll probably play these vines. Turn three, maybe captive. I want to get as much mana on the board before I play Lead the Stampede so that I can afford to play most of the stuff I draw. He plays a Tree of Tales and the Springleaf Drum. Overgrown Battlement. I think I might actually play that instead. So if I play this next turn, I'll have four mana. I can play, yeah, let's play, let's play the Battlement here. Pass the turn. Next turn, I'll play the Captive. And then I'll tap the Overgrown Battlement. That'll give me three mana. I can play Vines. Darkstill Citadel. Is this a Forger? Yep. I'm Flame Slashing that. 
It's one of the one of the targets for my flame slash there. And what is this? A galvanic blast? That's a little frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. But that's four damage not to my face. Really wish that was a land. We're gonna flame slash this anyway. It's not mana efficient, but it needs to be done. I probably should have played the vines this early in the game. You probably would not have blasted the vines. I don't think you should have galvanic blasted anything except Bent Sentinel though, but he doesn't know we have it. So maybe that's why he didn't. Another forger, wow. Well, of course. Infinity always has is their four fours. And a star. Alright, well I guess we're gonna play the tangle cord so we can block the forger. Probably the, that's probably the best route. He goes for a slot cast. Alright, he taps his uh, forger because he knows he can't attack through my wall. We need to draw some land. When it cracks his star for a blue, plays a dark still citadel. Just another slot cast. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Oh gosh, another forger? No, a prism, okay. Alright, back to us. We get a tap land. That's unfortunate. We're going to play the vines here. I'm playing this over the captive because he's more likely to bolt the captive, and I need my mana, so. I'm just going to play this. Uh, little guy here and next turn I'll have four mana and I can I could play the vent sentinel but I don't know I think he has another galvanic blast in his hand he has seven cards so I think I may play the captive first to try and fish out a galvanic blast there's an atog Spring leaf drum. <clears throat> and probably that dragon or that sea serpent thing. Yep. Wow. Well, we drew a mountain. And we ex okay, here we go. Four, five mana. We could do lead the stampede in captive. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start off with lead the stampede. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. All nice. Okay. Two, three, four, five. That's awesome. Uh, so what do we want to play here? Green, green, probably the battlement. Probably tango cord. Probably the tango cord, right? I think I can take one hit to get out the battlement. Yeah, we'll we'll take one hit to play the battlement so that we can uh, get a boatload of mana next turn. So if he doesn't kill any of our stuff, we'll have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. We can play Vent Sentinel, X Main Guardian, Captive. That probably seems good. Or we could go Vent Sentinel, Captive, Tangle Cord, Wall of Vines. That'll give me more defenders. Wow, guys. Freaking Galvanic Blasts. My battlement. Well, at least that clears the way for our Vent Sentinel. Another Forger. So that's two Galvanic Blasts out of his hand. I don't think he even knows we play f Vent Sentinel. He probably doesn't even know it exists. Natog. Goes to combat. Doesn't attack. I find that very strange. Play a forest. So I think I want to go Vent Sentinel Captive. Or actually Vent Sentinel Tangle Cord. Yeah. Hopefully he's out of Galvanic Blasts. If that one card in his hand is a Galvanic Blast, I'm going to be super sad. We're going to play this Wall of Tangle Cord so we can block some of his bigger creatures. We'll pass the turn here. Mirror Enforcer, okay. Goes to combat. He's going to attack here. Wow. Look at that. I don't think that I can... Let's see, if I block here and here... I'll take 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Huh. Well, I guess I gotta block here or I die. Even if he sacrifices all of his artifacts to his ATOGs, I think I still live. Because I think it's 15, 16, 17, 18 damage. I don't know. I feel like he probably should have sacrificed maybe like the Springleaf Drums or something. I don't know. Alright, well, we'll play the Rugged Highlands here. Uh, one, two, three, four mana. One, two. Okay, so I guess we'll play x Main Guardian. Let's see if I tap this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. I need two to play the Vent Sentinel or to activate. So I have four mana to play with. So I can go X Bane Guardian, Vent Sentinel. No, I mean X Bane Guardian, Wall of Vines, activate Vent Sentinel. I don't think it's going to matter. I think we're dead. This is a lot of damage, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Next turn it'd be eight. I just don't think we have enough. We're like one turn short, I think. He hit a streak of just pure gas and it was enough.
Please a spring leaf drone. So I have to block the Atogs or I die because he has enough artifacts. Um, that's unfortunate. We're going to block here. 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 And I have to block the Atogs, like I said, or I just die. He's going to sacrifice two artifacts to kill off these walls here. Alright, so let's go ahead and activate our Vent Sentinel before our walls die. Well, we almost got there. I don't think there's anything we could top deck at this point, unfortunately. Affinity is a really bad matchup for this. And I feel like if if we were playing against another rogue brew, I feel like we could win. Uh, but playing a rogue brew against a top tier deck is kind of difficult. Let's go with the... Uh, with this and I suppose X Bane Guardian one, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, he was about to turn off, or we're about to turn off. If we just got to live one more turn, we could have made it, I think. But I feel like this attack is going to be extremely decisive. There's a star. Alright, he goes to combat. Same thing as last turn. I have to block the Atogs or I just die. block here, 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 here. I think we have to do it that way. Yeah, we have to do it that way or we just die, so. Uh, and then I'll activate my, my Vent Sentinel before damage. He sacks a star to an Atog and gets to draw a card. He gonna fling? He's sacrificing a lot of artifacts here. Oh no, he just wants to kill my my vine. Okay. All right. Activate Vent Sentinel. Takes him down to eight. There's a bunch of walls here though. If we draw a Caravix Torch, I think we win. Unless he has a Galvanic Blast here. No Galvanic Blast, okay. So if I draw a Torch, I can do one, two, three, or, um, yeah, if I draw a Torch, I win, but I didn't draw a Torch. But at least the Stampede's not bad. Maybe that could save me a turn? No, I'm at three life. <clears throat> the most I can do is play captive and deal one, two, three, four, five damage. And that's three off. So I really needed to draw a torch there. So the captive isn't a win way. So we're going to try to lead the stampede and see what that gives us. An axe being guardian only. And look at all these lands. No torch there. Well, I guess we'll go green, green. Captive. 
and we'll pass the turn, see how our opponent attacks. He's going to attack with everything. He might even attack with the uh, Flare Husk. Actually, I think I messed up. I should have tapped a mountain for the captive, left the vines up, and then tapped the vines after blocks to activate the vent sentinel. That was a mess up. I don't think it'll matter in the end, but <clears throat> yeah, that was a, that was a fumble. One, two, three, four, five, six. I only have four blockers. That'll do it. So even if I did leave this untapped, if I left the vines untapped, I would still be dead because he has too many attackers for me to deal with. So yeah, I'm dead anyway, but we got close. We got really close actually. If we we just needed one more turn. Yep, definitely just needed one more turn and we would have had it. What do we draw here? Forest, forest. And there's the builder's bane. That would have been that would have been pretty good. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the deck, give it a thumbs up. If you know any changes that I can make to the deck to make it a little more competitive, please let me know. Thanks and have a great day.